know it sounds so disgusting. You never know where this vlog is gonna end. You just push everything in and you force everything backwards. You need the bait version of this. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another vlog. He's still there. <laughs> but we never know where this vlog is going to end. Because I just called the midwife uh, to have me stripped. I have no clue what it's called in English, but um, they try to do something to, I don't know, open up the uterus to get it started. Sometimes it will just create like fake contractions and then it doesn't it just doesn't do anything in the end but let's hope this one will because i am absolutely dying like i can't move anymore ever it's he's hanging so low that's just standing walking oh man i can't do it anymore i might sound like a pussy but it's absolutely so they told me i don't me think anyone thinks you sound like a pussy after 40 weeks <laughs> hey. in, that, in that belly <laughs> But, so, I've been told, oh, <sighs> the difference between the first pregnancy and the second one is that with the first one, your kit, uh, there's not so much space yet, so he can't really hang that low up until he's actually born. So then the whole process of getting contractions uh, will get him like lower, 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 but right now, this one already made space for Foxy, so he can already ah. hang that low, and that's why it's so painful. So I didn't know that. Oh yeah, the midwife told me that. Ah. So what do you think? Is it gonna be today? Oh my god, I really hope. I really hope that when she looks, when oh. she does it, and she sees that I, for example, have like one centimeter dilation yeah. because you do need one centimeter for her to be able to do it. If it's completely closed, which I really don't believe, uh, she can't even do it. But I just really hope that it will be enough to get it started. And still doing the groceries. You gotta do what you gotta do. And just for the viewers, it's not that I don't want to do it, it's just that Sandra can't handle me. You just push everything in and you force everything backwards. Thank you. That's kind of what I do, I force everything in <laughs> and I push everything backwards. No, but for real, it's terrible if you do it. Like, if you use sauces for dinner, for example, you put the sauces in front of everything, like this. This is not jars are supposed to go here. every single day this is what i do literally rearrange Why? the fridge it's shit that just doesn't belong there at all you want the mtp fridge i want the convenient but it's not so here's the thing it's not convenient you will put the beer bottles you'll put right in front of here where the things are that you put in your bread so i have to take them out to pick up something like this it's convenient because i it's only need not, beer no <laughs> that's also not true so it's just not convenient it's just not true all our fruit has to be stacked in the refrigerator right now because of the fucking annoying fruit flies yeah we have Making a plate dough, absolutely bananas we have a fruit fly plate yeah it's insane i've never seen something like that before it's pretty dark outside, um, it's only 11.45, so summer here is going strong. Yeah, we're having a great, great summer. Wait, how did the chips get in here? <laughs> chips is... Chips is literally eating Pringles already. Yeah, because it's he the stole. first thing he found. It's stole like... Pringles. Yeah. Okay, baby, take it easy. I'm like, I can do it right now. I'm gonna deliver the baby today, so. <laughs> right now I can still move a little bit. Are you still here? I just took a shower, but then he moved so much that I can't move because it's so painful. 
and Jax was downstairs with you, but you weren't paying attention, so he came up. But then I can't watch him, so I was here. So I asked him to come on the bed and put his favorite movie on, so I could just lay here. It's uh, the 29th. Yeah. It's uh, three days past his due date. And I lost a lot of of my mucus plug this morning. Mucus plug? Yeah, I know it sounds so disgusting. <laughs> that sounds... It is as disgusting as you think it is. The mucus plug is what we had for breakfast this morning. <laughs> People sometimes lose it like two weeks before they give birth, so it really doesn't say anything. Uh, with me, the last time I remember, first my first uh, contraction started, then my water broke, and then in the hospital, I start losing it, remember, under, yeah. the, sh under the shower. Yeah. I think the time has come. It's 6.55 p.m. And you've literally been moaning like this for the last one and a half hour, I think. I've been massaging your feet. And I've been losing a lot more of the the mucus. <laughs> it's so disgusting, but yeah, like throughout the entire day. And now, like, I'm doubting if I'm feeling contractions, but I do remember thinking to myself when Jax was born, like. Okay, how could I have doubted? This is clearly contractions, like when I finally felt the actual contractions. But right now it's so steady. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm still doubting if it's actually contractions, but at the same time, they're so steady. They literally come and go like every couple, four or five minutes, right? It sounds like contractions. Yeah, but I don't know why I'm doubting myself, but at least I just took some painkiller, just like the normal one that you can buy at the store. Paracetamol, it's called here. Because my back is killing me and uh, they say just take the edge off so you can still rest until like the actual moment is there when you have to work. <laughs> I don't remember when you need to call a midwife. Doesn't this say? Yeah, I thought it would, but you need the paid version of this app. <laughs> 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 you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. Right, so right now the contractions are getting heavier and more frequent and the uh, midwife's on her way. And hopefully Lil Fox will be here soon. Keep you guys updated. This is what has happened. <laughs> All right, so the midwife is downstairs right now. She's uh, checking the heartbeat of Lil Fox. And uh, I'm getting excited, but I'm trying to talk you through it as much as possible because Sandra is just in the zone. So I'm getting her some drinks with sugar. I think she put it in her hospital bag. And let me see, yeah, to keep her, you know, energized during this process. So let's go downstairs. See you guys. Oh. Ah. 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 
Ga je nog? Ga je nog? Ja, dat gaat nog. Heel goed. Niet Heel knijpen goed. met je benen. Probeer je benen een beetje te houden. Goed zo. Oh, dit is zo pijn. Kom maar, kom maar, kom maar. Push. Push, 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 push. Goed zo, joh. Goed, schat. Goed, goed, goed. Nou, goed. En met ook okay. rustig. Het is niet alleen maar een brand. Er is geen wee. Au, 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 ja, dit doet het hard. Dit is zo zo. Ik heb hier te focussen op je ademhaling. Focus op je ademhaling. Goed zo. Oh. Om bezig rustig te worden. Heel goed. Goed zo. Focus op je ademhaling. Heel goed, heel goed. Oké, okay. kom, gaan we weer knallen, ja? Gaan we weer knallen. Je kan het, je kan het. Goed zo. Doe maar verder. Kom maar, kom maar, kom maar. Doe maar verder, doe maar verder, doe maar verder, doe maar verder. Kom maar, kom maar, kom maar, kom maar, kom maar. Kom maar, ze blijven. Push, push. Kom maar, kom maar. Sorry hoor. Kijk. Kom maar, ze blijven. Kom maar, kom maar, kom maar. Kom maar. Goed zo. Goed zo, goed zo. Nee. Dit mag ik persen? Ja hoor, als de weer is. Goed zo schat, goed. Goed, goed. Push, 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 push. Kom op, valt ze eruit. Stop maar, stop maar, stop maar. Even niet persen, even niet persen. Klein beetje, klein beetje, klein zetje. Ho, 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 ho. Niks doen, niks doen, niks doen, niks doen. Niks doen, niks doen. Doe maar, pers maar een beetje. Ja, daar is hij. Goed. Daar komt hij, daar komt hij, daar komt hij. Daar komt hij, daar komt hij, daar komt hij. Daar komt hij. Pers nog maar een keertje. Kom op, pers, pers, pers. Goed zo. Even duwen nog. Pers, kom op, kom op, kom op. Ja, kom op. Stop maar, niks doen. Klein beetje persen nog. Kom, push, 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 push. Kijk eens, kijk eens. Oh, oh kijk, 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 daar komt hij, daar komt hij. Kom maar, kom maar. Ah, ah. Oh, daar is hij, schatje. Daar is hij. Daar is hij. Een klein mannetje. Hey, Foxy. Hey. Hey, mannetje. Allee. Hey, Tessa. Ah, schatje. Je hebt het gedaan. Hey. Kleine man. Kleine man. Hey. Kijk, hey, kleine mannetje. Je hebt het zo goed gedaan, schat. Oh. Oh. Schat, wat is het nou? Met een tepel. Met een tepel? 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 Met een ik eerst even een muts op. Ik heb een muts op, je schat. Wauw, dat vond ik goed. Ik niet om van mijn moeder te worden. Ik kan mijn En dan kies je die blauwe en die zwarte en dan kan je knippen. Ja. Beetje taai, ja, je moet een paar keer knippen hoor. Nog een keer, echt even heel voorzichtig, hè? want je kind is klaar. Nog een, oh nee, ja. zo was het. Ja. Goed hoor, hé. Hey. Nou, echt nou, nou. goed schat, echt heel goed. Wat is power? Om 014. Op de dertigste. Op de dertigste. Hij is op de dertigste hey. geworden. <laughs> Hij is ook aan het bevallen hoor je dat. Ja, doet hij het? Here he is, the little guy. Well, this was pretty much how I envisioned it. Like just a full labor. I wanted to do it at home. I really hoped that it was gonna be like somewhat quick, so not like the last time. 
because the last time it started at 3 a.m. in the morning and I gave birth at 10 p.m. at night. Yeah, the next day. And right now it started around 10. Ish. Well, at Nine around there, yeah. around six, we talked about like I was like I think I'm having contractions. Oh yeah. But then around ten, it really started that the midwife returned because she already came by and she's like. And you broke your water. Yeah, because she was uh, she measured and she said you only have two you're two centimeters dilated. Uh, but it can go quick and she left and I think like within a half an hour yeah. in the middle of a contraction my water broke and the contraction started to get, come real fast after each other so Gus was like should I call and I'm like yeah I don't think he's gonna wait that much longer <laughs> and then the other midwife came and then it started to really go quick yeah. And we moved it from the couch to the floor. <laughs> I wanted it in the bed, but there was no way I was going to walk upstairs still. And then uh, at 0, 0, 0.14. Yep. 30. So July. He, he just barely, yep. <laughs> barely on the 30th, he was born this little lion or Leo. Little Leo. And he did so well straight up when he came out, he started crying like yeah. crazy, which made me feel so happy when you hear that cry. It just gives mm -hmm. such a reassuring feeling. And oh my God, I was so happy it was over <laughs> because he was already with pretty much like his head almost fully out. And they were like, okay, you have to pause mm -hmm. because the contraction is over. So you have to pause and breathe. And then you can push again on the next push contractions and that was just taking forever and it hurt so bad in the meantime but then what it, i think what was it like 10 real push contractions and then he was here even uh, less. i didn't count but it was quick it was really quick yeah that's such a good job all right babe uh, we'll continue this tomorrow yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Voorzichtig, hè, mannetje. Dat is een kleine broertje. Ja, ja. Ja, jongen, gewoon. Ja, zie jij is ook niet lang hoor. Nee, even kijken hoor, want hij is heel ontspannen. Nou, we kunnen met een beetje... Wacht hoor. Ik ga hem even... Ja, man. Nou, met een beetje zo duwen. Heb je hem goed? Ja. 51,5. Ja. Ja, ook. Een ook het is ook het merk wat je zegt. Het is blond is. Ja, is niet normaal. Hij is, nu veel, hij is echt veel lichter dan Jax. Mm. Jax is echt donkerder bij geboorte. Zeker. That was it. I have no clue what it's gonna look like and what you're gonna put in. Oh. Because I chose to give birth in full dark. <laughs> yeah. In full dark mode. So there's not a lot of footage I think you can use that we filmed from it. But I really hope that you still got like a gist of it. It... Um, pretty much went as much as I wanted it to go so I'm super happy and I'm proud of myself for doing it like this Me too. and I'm proud of doing it without painkillers because that was something that I was really wanting to achieve just also for the baby not for like all oh, props for me but just because it's just so much better for the baby that it gets born in a natural way so and he's such a strong little baby <laughs> So, uh, Jackson looks huge right now. It yeah, wow, works. is he so big little, all of a sudden? Look at this little guy. Tiny human. And this big, big head. Big, big head. So, thank you for watching. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I see you next time. And then we're gonna feel more about the whole process after giving birth, which is another process on its own. <laughs> <laughs> it is. All right. So, ciao.